Folks, remember, Bobby wants me to remind you to turn off your phones <laughs> and give us and give us a little bit of uh, identification of who you are and who you're directing the question to. Overview, please, Coach. Congratulations. <laughs> what a beautiful um, way to end this game. And, you know, at, at second half as it came along, I really thought, you know, the, the tides were shifting a little bit. But I tell you what, um, you know, Shanice Robinson, I kept saying, do you need a break? And she kept going, Coach, you're not taking me out of this game. You're not taking me out of this game. And I go, okay, then keep running with it. And, you know, these girls, they're hungry. And um, they've been hungry. And they, they have come together. And, they're just excited. This is a huge win for our school. Anytime we can beat Stephen F. Austin, um, it just seals the deal with my athletic director. It makes him happy for me and this team. So um, anytime we can do that, that's huge. I'm very excited for Beetle. Um, at the end of the game, we leaned to each other and said way overdue. Um, so there's a lot of, of great little things that this game means to us. First off, it, it's a great rivalry. Second off, we advance to the next round, and that's huge right here. Um, these young ladies just work hard, them and, and the rest of our squad, and I'm just ecstatic. I, we just looked at the stats, 49% shooting. I don't even think we've, we've even got close to that this year. So um, just excited right now. Don't. Don't call out your athletic director. He told me not to. <laughs> <laughs> Questions, please. Uh, JP McBride with the Hunt Collide. I'm Shanice, um, you weren't quite as aggressive in looking for your shot as you were yesterday in the first three quarters. And then in the fourth quarter, you score 11, uh, six of six shooting. So what, what got into you in that fourth quarter? I knew the game was, it was crunch time. I knew my teammates needed me. My team needed me. And... I just took the ball in my hands. And I knew we needed a basket, so I did that. Brandon Williams, Southland.org coach. Uh, again, rebounds are the key. Uh, yes. You guys rest 42. They only got 27. Talk about the play of, uh, of your bigs this afternoon. Well, I tell you what, Camera Orr is one of them bigs too <laughs> right now. She had nine rebounds. Mm -hmm. Now, Angela Beetle, I'm telling you, you just did a tremendous job. And, and like I said all along, these seniors uh, have really put everybody on their backs and, and they're running it with these these other kids. And i um, very impressed with her. Very excited about Jasmine McCants. I mean, she has really stepped up, really come to play. When Beetle went out, I saw a change and a shift in our guards that they needed to take control of the game and really do some things to make stuff happen. And I, I thought that was huge on, on Cam and Shanice's part. But... This is a team effort, and when you look at our – we had four people in double figures. We had three people close to double figures in um, rebounds. I'm just ecstatic about what this team is doing as a team, and that's, that's big. Cameron, talk about you know, the determination of, of the squad. You, know, you saw and you had to know that SFA was going to make a run, but yet you guys refused to budge. Uh, we knew they weren't going to lay down. We just had to stay composed and hold the lead, and that's what we did. Shanice, just kind of talk about the season first running overall. You got your first one yesterday. You get your second one today. How, you know, how are you feeling as far as just, you know, as far as playing your first off the bench? Oh, this is just wonderful. I love the atmosphere. The Beetle and the pe people that have been here before just, just making it much, much better. I'm just happy that we're in this position, like Coach said, just to get a win over our rivalry school is just great. And... It's not over. We still have games to finish. And then Camry, just talk a little bit about what you saw out there today. You kind of found your shot late down the stretch. Um, and you know, SFA cut it within four points late down the stretch in the fourth quarter. Just kind of talk about what you saw and what the team was kind of talking in the second half. Um, in the second half, they did make a run, but we just stuck together as a team. We continued to play together. Play together. Um, we. We just stick together. We. Um, what's what's been the most difficult part about just playing the you know, past two days? The pressure. It's a lot of pressure as a freshman guard coming in, but I always say to myself that I have to calm down because I get myself going a little too fast. So I tell myself to calm down. It's just the pressure, but I handle the pressure well. I'm getting better at it. I feel good. I actually feel good. We're about to win these next two games and get the conference championship and go to the NCAA. Uh, Shanice or Cameron, either of you can answer this one. Uh, 
you guys both had to, to guard Taylor Ross throughout the game, and in the second half, she came out even more aggressive. Uh, I think she made nine of her 11 shots and continuously attacked the rim. So what was what, what's so difficult about guarding her? Overall, she's a, a great player. We knew that she was going to take the ball and have it in her hands for the rest of the game. But it was difficult, but we, we did what we could. We switched and yeah. took switched turns. But oh, she's a great player. I she give is. it to her. Uh, uh, John Mendiello from Houstonian. Either of you can answer this. You all seem to kind of switch off who was running the point and kind of running the offense from the half court. Was that a coach decision or were we all just kind of seeing who had the feel of the game? And who, how did you all decide who was going to run the offense? We just always do that. Sometimes I'll be like, hey, Nisi, get it. And she'll be like, hey, Cam, get it. It's just something that we have in between both of us. Um, Coach, you all shot 23 of 29 from the free throw line. How big is getting that many points from, from the line? You can win games from the line, and this definitely shows it. And this is something that um, we say a lot is if you can get to the line, we can win a ball game. Um, everything that we've done, we haven't done anything fancy. We're not doing anything special. We haven't put in anything new. I keep telling them, do what we know how to do. Keep it simple. Do what has brought us to this point, and this is what we're doing. They're not doing – we haven't put in a new plays or any kind of fancy things. They're just doing what they know and they're comfortable with, and we're just trying to keep it simple. And what was the message of the timeout when SFA came out of the second half on that big run and closed the lead to within one? I cannot tell you. No, I'm thinking no. <laughs> no, the message is we needed to buckle down on defense, and basically that's what we keep saying is we got to be a stronger defensive team. Um, early on in the conference, we were not that team. Um, now their confidence with each other, the, you know, they're really, they're really pulling together. Everybody on this team is – they have one goal in mind, and that is to, to play together and, and win. And it's fun when they are all on the same page. Well, we played them so early in the in the season that um, we did not play a good game. We were embarrassed after that ball game. So there's a lot of feelings that we're really excited about playing them. It's the same thing as when we matched up with Nichols. We played them early, and we took losses that we shouldn't have. Um, we feel much more confident right now. I, I think we just got to go out. We got to play our game and not worry about anything but what we need to do to take care of our business. Okay, any more questions for the group? Thank you. Get off your feet. Get some to eat. Get plenty of rest. Thank you all for coming. We appreciate you all's support. Thank you.